speaking as a representative of a research area, which in fact consists uh, of three groups, diabetes and metabolism, nephrology, and pediatrics endocrinology. Pediatrics Endocrinology is a group headed by Professor Antonio Carrascosa. It's a very active group in translational research of pediatric endocrine diseases and belongs to CIBERER, that is the network of excellence of rare diseases in Spain. In addition is the Catalan Reference Center for the Diagnosis and Treatment of Congenital Hypothyroidism and they are leaders in identification of mutation of genes regulating thyroid hormone synthesis. One of the most important research lines of the Carrascosa's team is the study of normal growth and the development patterns in children, and they have relaunched the value of anthropometric measures in front of sophisticated and expensive dynamic hormonal tests. In addition, they are investigating the genetic basis of growth impairment and uh, factors modulating both bone mass in children. Other points of interest are the hyperinsulinism and hyperglycemia in children and childhood obesity. In this regard, I would like to emphasize the program entitled NENS and Movements in children, in children in Movement, which is an integral approach for treating childhood obesity, which is having a significant social repercussion and impact in our community. The group of nephrology is led by Daniel Seron. Uh, this is an emergent research group, which is now focused in two main areas. The first one is the preservation of renal function in renal transplantation and uh, native kidney diseases. This group has a large experience in the study of renal biopsies by means of different methods such as immunostochemistry, morphometry, microarrays, and has an active program of renal allograft protocol biopsies. They also are unraveling the mechanisms of progression of renal failure, especially in the setting of renal transplantation, glomerulonephritis, and diabetic nephropathy. In these areas, they are participating in several very interesting phase two and three clinical trials. The second point of interest of this group is cardiovascular disease in patients with renal failure. And in fact, they are investigating the early detection of subclinical markers of uh, cardiovascular disease by means of measuring different circulating biomarkers such as progenitor endothelial cells and low-grade inflammatory pro-inflammatory cytokines. Finally, my group, group of diabetes and metabolism research. Our group is performing a straightforward translational research and we have been able to engage uh, several biotech companies to support our research and in fact we are now developing uh, new targets in the treatment of diabetic retinopathy and I think that it's important to emphasize that we have developed three patents during the last year. Our group belongs to the Spanish research uh, network of excellence of diabetes and metabolic associated diseases, CIBERDEM, and has been evaluated by both the external advisory scientific board and National Agency of Evaluation Projects as a group of excellence. We have three main lines of research. The first one and the most important is the physiopathology of diabetic retinopathy. In this line, our efforts are currently focused in to find out new therapeutic targets, and perhaps the more relevant contribution has been to develop the concept that neurodegeneration is an early event in the pathogenesis of diabetic retinopathy, which participates also in microvascular abnormalities that occur at the early stage of the disease. In this regard, I am coordinating the European Consortium for Early Treatment of Diabetic Retinopathy named Eurocondor. This consortium consists of 19 partners from eight different countries and has been funded by European Commission with 6 million euros for developing the first clinical trial using neuroprotective agents uh, administered topically in order to prevent or arrest the development of diabetic retinopathy. The recruitment period will be end in October and we will be able to have the pre preliminary results in one year, more or less. The second focus of interest of our research is the study of non-classical risk factors of cardiovascular disease in diabetic population. In this regard, we will collaborate with the group of Dr. Seron that I previously described in identifying new biomarkers of subclinical cardiovascular disease. And the third, and finally, we are very interested in discovering new targets for treatment of obesity, and we have very interesting results on this issue with two molecules, zinc alpha dose glycoprotein, SAC, and also sex hormone binding globulin. The future of the three groups of this research area is very exciting, 
and we are now trying to further increase our collaboration between the groups for optimizing resources and increase the scientific impact of this area at Bellebron Research Institute.